come to daddy. I need to, I need to wait. I need to wait. Come on, Rummy. I'm not lifting until it's you, my son. I'm not lifting until it's Rummy. Who is it? Rummy! Woohoohoo! Rummy, Rummy. No, it's Honus. Oh, I thought it was Rummy, lads. What's the crack, lads? We are back with another player review. We're going to be looking at Bayern Munich's Honus that was in the Epic Booster Pack on Monday. And of course, we're going to be taking a look at skills, stats, and the best build that I have used with gameplay. Let's All right, let's we're back with a review of Honus. We're going to highlight a couple of things here, including these fancy graphics. Look at this. Look at this, lads. We're stepping up our game with the spotlight on Honus. He's going to pick up a deep position, but he's actually going to run in towards that attacking midfielder position. And you can see here his vision. This is a simple pass, but with the way the game plays at the moment, this actually becomes an advanced pass because a lot of the time these could get intercepted. But he passes in a very nice uh, kind of like style. Uh, and a lot of the, the top class attacking midfielders do this that are whole players. And I'll get into that in a second. But again, you can see his positioning up here. He's going to score a very kind of sweaty, lucky goal. But it's the positioning. Again, you'll see that little radius that he's going to cover. Gets a bit lucky, obviously, to seal the deal in the 76 minute. But that's what happens when you get into those positions. Now, you will see here as well, as we kind of look at him in a little bit more detail, when you are passing, it's all about creating the angled pass. It's all about creating non-straight line passes. But I found that if you're playing a player in this position, having his passing, his low passing of any attacking midfielder that you want is going to be paramount that you do have it at the 85 mark. Now, this is prone to kind of change. And also, what's going against Honus as well is the fact that he doesn't have the best player skills. We'll get into that towards the end of the video off the rip. But we're going to show you two builds. The first build that we're going to show you is the build that I was using in pretty much all of these clips. We tried out two different versions of him. The only version of him I didn't try out uh, was a winger version. I'm showing you why you shouldn't turn him into a winger, even though he can play as a right wing. When you are using an attacking midfielder like this, it is very important that you have as many stats as possible up into the 90s. I think for any whole play in attacking midfielder, no matter what play style you have, unless you're playing a very kind of counter-attacking based football uh, type of breakdown, Musiala, Honus, Sankrasen, any of those guys, depending on if you're free to play or you're buying the premium cards, it is very important that you have their acceleration for run and gun, their pass and pop for their low passing into the 90s as well as much as you can. Even Son Krasen, why he's so good is because he has his dribbling stats, he has his acceleration, and he has his balance. Absolutely flawless. Now, obviously, the low passing on the likes of Modric and cards like that, they're nearly too high for where the gameplay is it. The gameplay doesn't really differentiate between a player with 85 passing and 95 passing. There isn't enough animation-driven stuff there. So when you have get when you get chances like this, it's more about kind of what he's doing off the ball. Now he can still shoot when you get into positions like this, he can still shoot. And this is where this build kind of comes into it with that 85 finishing. I know a lot of people will say, do you need 85 finishing on an attacking midfielder? Personally speaking, you don't. But if you are playing a different formation than this, such as a 4-2-2-2, a um, you've got the finishing down a little bit here at 79. Now, this is the second build that we're going to look at. This is more of a kind of a complete attack and midfielder and you can see the skills here one big problem with starting this player in this kind of like withdrawn position a little bit or sharing the spotlight with another attack and midfielder is his lack of skills we'll get into the skills to add to him but that is the player progression if you want to see it look how much we have to give up here to get his passing stats to 90 now obviously if you're going to be playing a player that has 90 low pass you don't need to destroy the card to get him to 90 low pass i see a lot of people make this mistake where they try to turn one of their favorite players into something that they really aren't so this build that you're seeing here is kind of like the third build that we're going to show you without uh, i think if you're playing at 4 2 2 it's 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 a different type of play style because you're expecting more from your players you're using them as a winger you use them as a center figure you're using them as an attacker you use them as a defender you're using them as everything when i say use them as a defender obviously you know don't be in the comments saying like oh but he's not a defender how's an attacking midfielder defender what i mean is that any player can win you ball back especially it's all about spatial awareness and the space that they're picking up on the pitch now with this thing here right with this kind of setup that you have here we will we will show you that you don't even need one touch pass on a lot of these cards because again we go back to it it's very animation driven and also with the dribbling with this build that we're showing you here it's all about kind of creating those chances outside the box center forwards and ss's need to be in the box like this with rummy just a simple little pop and pass from honus and then it's rummy with the finish but if you are playing him out wide i definitely don't think you should a lot of people were saying to me that you should try him out wide in the stream and i was kind of saying no not really i don't think that he's a good winger 
winger. If I want a winger, I know what I want from a winger. I want acceleration, speed, and balance, as well as tight possession in his dribbling. And you just have to pop too much into his dribbling to get that speed and acceleration on par with his dribbling. So for me, it's a bit of a no-no to play this kind of player build if we are going looking to use him as a right winger. Now, could you kind of find a little bit of a, you know, a hidden buff, buff with him if you're using this stat? Yeah, but he can't pass, he can't shoot. Not that that makes a massive difference to this card, but I think he's definitely suited as an AMF, similar to Song Crasson. Now, these are the cards and the player skills that we've given. One touch pass, low lofted pass. It's actually, uh, it's a disgrace that he doesn't have low lofted or one touch pass off the rip. But outside curler and rising shot, you can kind of mix and match these depending on your play style. Me, I like to shoot. He already has long range shooting. Way to pass, low lofted pass and one touch pass beautiful on this card and i've been very impressed with him he's not my favorite amf that i've used so far i honestly do think that song crassen definitely gives him a run for his money but i do feel that he is still a very very solid card so that build that we're going to throw in there that is the ultimate build that i have for him let me know what you guys think i've been pleasantly surprised with him he's act actually very strong on the ball as well with his physical contact so that's quite unique compared to other run and gun amfs so yeah don't forget to subscribe lads and we'll be back soon i will talk to you then Please let me know what you think of him as well because it is an interesting card.